What is going on, my super sandwiches? Ramster here, and today we're playing some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse the campaign mode. And my character looks like he's about to drop the hottest mixtape of the year, or age 800. It's, no, it's 850. Age 850 of this universe, or something. So, last time when we left off, we just barely managed to defeat Vegeta, and situations got kind of desperate. And it looks like he's about to do something to try to cheat to win this match. So, what that something's going to be, of course, is the transformation into the Great Ape. So, even Piccolo lost his life in a fierce fight with Nappa. Goku finally arrived, but Vegeta became powered up by the evil energy as well. To make matters worse, Vegeta turned into a great ape and there seemed to be no hope left. At least until I arrived there so I can help with the timeline to make sure that none of that actually happens. So let's, let's see what my character can do. I actually forgot to level myself up, but it's cool. I'll do that next time when I play. Wrecked. That was actually kind of badass. You gotta admit, the, the visuals in this game was awesome. Look how epic I look next to Goku. In that case, I guess I'll just have to become a great Burst and combine! Uh, yeah! 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 I yeah. burst up and mix that one. Burst and combine with some battle Z. Dun dun dun! No way! Rawr. I ain't real, Super Sand. Alright, here we go. So now we have to fight against the Great Ape. Now, I have a quick question for everybody. When I first played against the Great Ape, uh, Vegeta, I found the battle to be very easy, but I saw a bunch of people on Twitter that same day were talking about how tough this fight was. And I want to know your thoughts. Do you, th do you think this fight was tough or no? Let me know in the comment section below. Personally, I was annoyed at how annoying the fights were with Battle Z. Because remember that? It was annoying. Like, like the Battle Z fights were just a pain. Wow, look at that. This is a lot easier than I thought. Okay. Yeah, but in Battle Z, it was a pain to fight the Giants. I mean, it was challenging, but it was just annoying more than challenging. And at least here, they kind of made more fun, which is something that I'm uh, okay with. The only thing I would change about the Great Apes, or I guess the Giants, well, we'll just get it. Great Apes because there's no other Giants, is um, I would make them tougher. Because, I mean, they're pretty easy. I mean, look at that. Let's go Super Vegeta 2 and blast them with a Super Electric Strike. Now, I think that's going to be game over. Maybe. Oh, no. Here we go. Technically, Yajiro... What are you, what are you aiming at, uh, Rhyme Style? Come on, go over there. Um, technically, Yajiro be cut off the tail, but whatever. Timeline, nah, same thing, I guess. Wow, okay, so he's a little tougher. Oh, God, he's a little tougher now than he was before. Milky Cannon! Sticking his butt. Took the milky can in his butt. Okay, that didn't work at all. All right. So we lost our super sandwich power. Let's see if we can uh, get that back. Because I want to finish him off with a super electric strike. Get closer, foo. Oh, that was directed at my, at my face. Let's take a capsule real fast. To be fair, I blame the bush because I couldn't see anything. But here we go. Here. Transform. Oh, I didn't get to finish him. Hey, at least I'm super saiyan in, uh, in the cutscene. That's awesome. Slice. All right. Even though it was Yajirobe. But whatever. It's okay. A little timeline changes. Never hurt anybody. Except for it broke the time shift continuum completely. Whatever. Finished. Easy fight. See, again, I just thought the Great A fight was so easy. And I saw so many people complain about how difficult it was the first day the game came out. And I don't know if people were fighting the Great A at like a really low level or what. But let's keep going. So this is going to be the final battle against Vegeta. With the terrible power of the great ape, Vegeta. With the terrible power of the great ape, Vegeta corners Goku. Even though we just defeated him, uh, well, with Krillin's help, his tail was cut off and he returned to his normal form. Now the final battle between Goku and Vegeta begins. Goku and Vegeta and the mysterious warrior from the future that nobody really knows about. All right, here we go. Let's keep this going. Defeat Vegeta. Look at him. He's angry. You know what's a really nice touch in this game is when they show like the white pupils and it shows like pure rage in this game. Like th these guys are mad. Alright, it's gonna be a pretty easy fight. Cause I don't know if I'm just too strong or what, but I no actually from what I remember, the Saiyan saga was a lot easier. Yes. Grab him, fool. Here we go. The Saiyan saga was a lot easier, and then the second you go to Namek, it just escalates so much. Like I can already see myself when I do the fight against uh all those uh, warriors with Go uh, Gohan and Krill on my team, I'm probably gonna die so much. Okay, Mr. Uh, blow me up. There's a transmission behind him. Milky Cannon! Here, take that. Come here, veggie. Let's see if I can get him a super drain. Crap, can't. 
Come here. There we go. Teamwork with Goku. Look at that teamwork. Again, I still feel like, you know, me being here helping Goku out is, like, dangerous to the timeline. But I feel like that's probably going to be, you know, how uh, Xenoverse 2 is going to work out. Where it makes sense. Gosh, this is a lot easier the second time around. Come here, get wrecked. Should I go Super Sandwich and defeat him? Ooh, the purple block. Get grabbed. Get grabbed. All right, here we go. Oh, what, what just happened? I was confused. All right, should we finish him off? Let's finish him off. So we're going to go Super Vegeta 2. Yeah. I'm going to throw a Super Electric Strike, and that should finish him off, I believe. There we go. That should finish him off. Bah, get out of here. Drain all the stamina. All right, Goku. The rest is on you, bro. The rest is on you and my shiny suit. Well, I am really shiny. Look how shiny I am. Hey, we got an S rank and we got more points that I'm going to distribute when I'm done fighting. Let's watch this cutscene now and end this uh, transition or whatever. Taught you guys a lesson. I'm, go I'm gonna leave now. I like how essentially I defeated him. Why are you stopping me? Krillin, it's okay. Krillin, it's okay. He's way stronger than all of us. Don't fight him, bro. I'll beat him on my own. Thank you. Remember the video I made the other day where I said uh, Goku is not really a hero, according to Toriyama? This is a good example of it. He lets Vegeta escape so he can fight him later. Like, he risks the entire planet because Vegeta could have easily gone up into space and just nuked all Earth. Like, just blown it up just like that. All right. Here we go. I think this should be in. Back to normal now. The scroll of eternity has been corrected. End of the Saiyan Saga, at least. Why did something like this even happen? It should be impossible. You can't change history like this. Whoa, it changed. I mean, you ch what do you mean you can't change? You changed history. You literally changed it. Someone traveled through time and changed history. Just like how you did in the past. Right, Trunks? See? Trunks, it was you who broke it, too. Hey, animation. I wasn't a big fan of the mixing animation and actual, um, like, computer graphics for this game. Because it just felt weird switching back and forth. On top of the, on top of that, these animations just it just looked it, they felt weird. Hello, <laughs> hello. This is the master of the time nest. She's the supreme Kai of time and a very. We were supposed to take serious. She manages the flow of time throughout the entire universe, keeping a close eye on history and protecting it. <laughs> what Toki? The, what are you doing? <laughs> I demand an apology. You're heavier than you look, you know. Uh, hey, you wait a minute. As I said, she's a very important person. Just trust me. <laughs> All right, there's that. That should be the end. Oh, well, not yet. Uh, Almost. Supreme Kai of Time? Oh, uh, sorry. Anyhow, you must be the warrior Shinron summoned. I'm the Supreme Kai of Time. Nice to meet ya. You know, she may not seem like it, but she's in quite a high position in the universe. By the way, that bird you saw just now? That's my best friend, Toki Toki. Best friend that steps on you, maybe. This is good. You guys seem quite talented. In other words, I think you two make a good team. Even though Trunks does nothing! Thank you very much. Sadly, until we you guys don't even pay me. This is far from over. What the? What in the world is happening? Seems there are two time travelers with strange energy, and they're messing with the flow of time. I don't know what they're up to, but I'll tell you what. I have a bad feeling about this. A time traveling duo? Who could that be? I feel like they should just have the power to look into like a magical crystal ball or something and be like, oh yeah, there's a, there's a time challenge right there. It's, it's, we see them. Like, I feel like you should have that power. By finding them. Let's do this. All right, that should be the end. 
Okay, let's actually just before we uh, end this video, we're gonna back out for a second, and um, there should be some points because we did level up a couple times since the last video actually as well. So let's do that, and then we'll end the video for today. Actually, no, right here, here we go. Boost attributes. So we have six points to distribute, and let's do let's do four into basic attack, and let's do uh, let's do one and one. Why not? Because I do want to level up those as well. There. All right. It's not much of a difference, but there it is. All right, folks, so that is today's episode of Dragon Ball Z Universe, the Ramstall playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like right below, and uh, check out the previous episodes if you haven't watched them just yet, and I will keep the series going. If you have any questions, comments, and feedback, you know what to do. Add it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to respond. So there we are, folks. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Ramstar, and I will see all you awesome super sandwiches next episode of Dragon Ball Z Universe. Peace.